Hey, 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 what's up everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we're here to talk about Carnival doing away with a classic. Jenny, did you hear the news? What news? Carnival is going to do away with one of their classic gifts. They cannot do away with the classic, classic gifts at all. You don't even know what it is? They're not doing it. You don't even know what it is? Of course I do. What is it? The ship on the stick. Ship on a stick. So I was listening to uh, Carnival brand ambassador John Heald on his live stream this morning and someone, someone, someone out there had the audacity to suggest the Carnival do away with the ship on a stick and give away better prizes. Say it is not so. Oh, it's so. It's not so. What do you think, Jenny? So, Ship on a Stick, it is a cheap, plastic, painted gold statue with a, uh, the, the nameplate of the ship stuck on it. It's probably, it probably doesn't cost $2 to make. Do you think it's a good gift? Absolutely, it's like a memento. Yeah, it is a memento. You know, like when you go to the different ports, you get t-shirts on, um, shot glasses, magnets. You know, for me, the ship on the stick is from the ship. It's a memento. It's my favorite souvenir, actually. Yeah. So we have a ship on a stick from the, all the carnival cruises that we've gone on. Uh, you can either win the ship on the stick or you can be gifted. The last two we were gifted, which was, uh, which was nice because sometimes they're hard to get. They are hard to come by, for sure. I say the majority of them are given out during some sort of game like trivia. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing about that trivia game is it's kind of on an honor system. It's on an honor system. So yeah, uh, you know, you're sitting there and you're playing your Game of Thrones trivia and uh, <laughs> it's really hard and you've gotten, you know, 18 out of 20 right and some guy has got 21 out of 20 right. You were the guy that had 21 out of 20, right? No, because you can't have 21 out of 20 <laughs> right. But somehow the guy that got the ship on the stick at the Game of Thrones trivia had 21 right answers. I don't know. I'm not saying anybody's cheating. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hotly uh, sought after prize. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the point that the uh, person asking the question to John was, was that, you know, uh, Carnival should elevate their game a little bit and give better prizes. But the reality is they probably give out 100 or 200 of these ship on a sticks every cruise. Right. So it's not, it's not like they're trying to give out premium prizes. It's just a nice token uh, that they can give out for fun activities like trivia or, you know, uh, I, you, me personally, my take on it is I would rather them give out 200 or 300 $2 gifts mm -hmm. than give out, you know, uh, you know, 10 40 or $50 gifts. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, whoever... And you know, it's pretty smart though, right? Because every time I look at that ship on the stick, I'm like, I need to get back on a cruise ship now. Exactly. <laughs> and it makes me want to go on different ships because I want, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a completist. So I would love to have a ship on the stick from every carnival cruise. But yes. you know what would be cool is that I don't know if they've retired any ships, but that might be. That might be and I know they sell ship, a, ship on a stick uh, on uh, eBay. So they're, they're that popular that people will uh, put them up for sale. Yeah. Now we respect the people that don't like them, that don't want them. No beef there. But don't try to infringe on my ability to get ship on a stick. Yeah, don't be haters if we like it. Exactly. Well, that's just our take. Uh, I guess it wasn't as controversial as it seemed. But uh, tell us what you think. Uh, are you guys a fan of the ship on a stick? If you're Carnival Cruisers, uh, you know, or, or could you do without it? Uh, leave a comment below. But uh, yeah, just a nice fun thought for uh, Friday night. Hope you guys are doing good, ready to slide into the weekend. Uh, Guess what we're going to go do? What? We're going to eat dinner. That's right. It's gonna What's for dinner, Tony? Tamales. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready for the weekend. Hey, stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow morning, there'll be a new uh, episode of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars! And, uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget about the group cruise for uh, 2019. The nice uh, cruise going out of Port Canaveral. Yes. And for those that have been on the other lines, do the other lines have, like, a little gimmick kind of thing that you enjoy yeah what's receiving. the what's the royal or, or Norwegian or Disney equivalent to ship mm -hmm. on a stick yeah. We'd love to. what's your favorite cruise souvenir that's branded by this by the cruise line yeah leave a comment below we really just wanted to check in we just wanted to say hi see how everybody was doing at the end of the week 
Uh, but uh, I can't wait to make platinum so I can get all those cool, like right now is this nice fleece, uh, like a fleece, what is that? Like a fleece blanket. It's so cool. You know, uh, do you know the rapper Kid Rock? Mm hmm He went platinum selling rhymes. Oh my goodness. I thought I had to cruise. All right, we're out of here. All right, guys. Uh, all the social media links are in the description below. Come join us over on Facebook at the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. If you like this video, if you think we're idiots, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> if you haven't we're yet, gonna get a lot of thumbs up, probably Anthony. Probably a lot of thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. It makes you feel all warm inside. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos are coming out. I gotta go polish my collection of ship on a stick. And uh, I guess until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.